Hello viewers and welcome back to the channel, whether you're AI generated, all are welcome on the Matt Vid Pro channel. Today's video is very exciting, talks about a new, a very particular version of Stable Diffusion that specifies in anime, and actually this was kind of rumored like over a month ago to be something that was being worked on in the past, and it turns out that it is finally announced and released. You guys voted on my community channel on what the next video should be, and you guys said that you wanted to see a review on this, so that's what we're doing today, but before I get into that, I want to mention something very important, and I think that you guys will like. This is Matt's Lemon Challenge. This is a challenge that's going on the open art social media AI platform. It's a website you can start generating with Dolly 2 on this website for free, but essentially what this challenge is, is you will create lemon-related art with Dolly 2 inside of this challenge, which I will have linked down below. As you can see, there are so many different postings here. The two top most voted lemon images and one image that's handpicked by me are going to get t-shirts with their art printed on it, 500 credits to generate with Dolly 2 on the open art website, and that translates to 5,000 images here in open art. So that's a really good prize, I think. For this challenge, this challenge ends on the 14th of this month. So yeah, everyone get to generating and, you know, vote up some art that you think is really, really awesome. I haven't even seen a lot of these. They're all so, so awesome. And I suggest checking out some of the latest art as well. And, you know, give some people that are making really cool art in the latest category a chance at, you know, getting their art shown up here on the higher voted end of the spectrum. But yeah, I just wanted to make another announcement about this challenge. I'll probably make further announcements in future videos on this because it is just so cool. There's so much cool lemon art. Anyways, getting into Novel AI. Novel AI recently has added some stable diffusion image generation incorporated into their website. Before, a Novel AI was just essentially AI-created stories similar to like a Dungeons & Dragons-esque type of thing, text adventures, and you can actually create stories with it as well. So, you know, it's a very cool website. I think I have mentioned it in the past here on the channel. But yeah, there's a free trial for it, but it's, it's a fun website. The image generation is different than your normal average everyday image generation though. And you have to accept all of these terms, by the way, before you do generate. By the way, here's a key part of the novel AI. Image generation, text prompts, image generations, canvas edits, and image uploads are not stored on the website and you have to download them if you want to save them. This is a new technology that might generate unpredictable results. So let's get my head out of the way here so you guys can see some more of these settings. Obviously, type your prompt up here. This is stable diffusion based, except for the actual images that it's trained on are actually different than the normal stable diffusion ones. We've got anime curated, so this I think is higher quality anime results, specifically just for generating anime imagery. Full anime and imagery, which I suppose might have a less high quality but more wide variety of possible generations. And then they've also got a furry generation model specifically for you furries out there. I'm surprised that this is the next one that they went to go for. The anime obviously is going to be very, very popular. We heard about a lot of anime uh, image generation stuff when Dolly 2 first blew up in popularity, but I have not heard much about furry generations being something that is highly requested, although I, I could be wrong. But clearly, you know, they're going for more of a fantasy or animated type of mood here with their image generation stuff. It's a very interesting direction to go in rather than just offering base regular image generation. So they do work by credits here, and I'm not seeing even any type of a free trial. Let's just try to generate something I think I might have to pay. And by the way, if you're wondering if I'm, you know, well-versed in anime or furry stuff, I am not. I've watched a few different anime series in the past, but, you know, I would not call myself an enthusiast by any means. But forgive me for my lack of knowledge. So let's see if I can generate this turtle anime character. Oh, an account is required. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Oh, okay. So not enough and list. Need five, have zero. Okay, so I immediately have to purchase. Okay, so this isn't super expensive or anything. Oh, but I need an active novel AI subscription to purchase this and list stuff in the first place. I find that 
kind of annoying. I need a subscription. You know, this might be very nice if you were already using this site. All right, so now we got to go in here and subscribe. And here it is. Okay, so at a minimum, you need to spend $10 a month to be able to generate with this. And we get a thousand analysts per month, which is 200 base generations per month for $10. I mean, I guess you get all of the regular novel AI stuff, but this is this is expensive, I, I would say. They've also got a $15 a month one, which still only gives you a thousand analysts per month. I guess with 25s, you get 10,000, which is, you know, that's a decent deal, I suppose. This is this is annoying to me, though, that, that they don't even give you a free trial to test anything out for the image generation. Your payment was successful, but processing it on our side is taking longer than expected. It can take up to 30 plus minutes to process in some circumstances. What? What is going on with this website, man? I'm sure the AI story generation is great on all, but I know GPT-3 is what it's based off of, if I'm not mistaken, which you can access for a lot cheaper than 10 bucks a month. Okay, guys, let's try this again now that I have uh, spent $10 on anime image generation. Let's just do something basic here. We'll do turtle anime character. That's going to cost me five of these. Oh, wow. Okay. That's that's very interesting. I mean, that's that's good image generation. I'm not going to lie. That is actually very, very good anime image generation. It's a little promiscuous, I would consider. Definitely turtle related. Can't lie. I mean, I can't knock it. That is ex incredibly impressive. 18 for variations. Holy crap. I'm going to run out of all these. You can enhance it. This is quality. This is top notch image generation, though. All right, we're going to do a lemon who is a villain now. So I'm just going to do lemon evil anime character. Okay, I mean, this is very promiscuous content here. I mean, there's definitely some lemons. She doesn't look like she's very related to lemons. In fact, she looks like she's more related to a wolf. But other than that, you know, this is this is something that I'm worried is going to get me demonetized in some way on YouTube. I am now more terrified to try the uh, the furry generations. I would say she definitely does look evil, though. That part is accurate. All right, let's try this one again. Lemon evil anime character who is fully clothed. Okay, this person is fully clothed. We got yellow in the background, which could insinuate lemons, but we're not really getting uh, the full lemon here. Like if I want to do up to four images, that's going to cost me 20 generations. You go through generations really quick with this. I mean, it's definitely high quality generation. You know, let's go ahead and do the, the full anime generation for this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, now we're starting to get in some more uh, like Pokemon-esque lemon characters. This one's good. I'm happy with this. I, I like that. You know, the, the the content here, not as explicit. I got some lemon, you know, hanging out in the background here. Lemon suit or something, or it's a lemon creature. I, I like that. That's that's quality. Let's try something. I want to see if this works as well as I hope. Walter White as an anime character. Okay, you know, that's... That's all right, I would say. It's definitely reminiscent of Walter White, but I would expect regular stable diffusion to do that good of a job. This isn't anything special in comparison to regular stable diffusion. Let's see if it just anime fies anything I type in here. Let's do Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, interesting. So it does kind of just anime fy pretty much anything you put in there that's kind of similar to Mark Zuckerberg. Not really, though. Not that much similar. But it's definitely just applying an anime style on to literally everything you generate. Let's do AI robot anime character. There, there you go. That's pretty creative stuff. That's definitely a nice, coherent AI robot anime character. It's got some sort of weaponry, you know, sticking out of its hands. So it looks like it's, you know, an AI bot. I guess there is a lot of fighting that happens in a different anime. So that's, you know, that's very, very good generation right there. I think that is high quality indeed. And it should be for the price that this AI costs. Very interested now. Let's see what the furry generation model does. Okay, this is more of a realistic character. It's still an AI robot character. That's very high quality and coherent as well, which I'm happy about. Definitely no furry anything really related to it. So I think the AI is doing a good job at using the data it has to actually create other images rather than just what it's supposed to be generating. I don't really know how to prompt a furry art generator. I don't really know much about that subculture. I guess I could just type in something very simple like a dog. Yeah, I, I guess I would consider that more in the style of like a, of a furry art. I don't really know too much about this, like I said. 
but you know, it does have like big character eyes, but it did really do a good job at staying true to the prompt of just having a dog as the image. That's a, you know, a nice generation of a dog, I would say. We're going to go with a little bit more of an advanced prompt for the anime generation, just the regular one. To take it a step further here, we've got anime character who does nothing but eat, sleep, breathe McDonald's. The ultimate McDonald's fan. We'll see if it can really capture that prompt. Oh yeah, this is good. This is, this is quality stuff. We've got this little, you know, anime character. Not too promiscuous. I don't know what was up with those first few generations, but not too promiscuous here. Got the McDonald's logo here on the side, doing a pretty good job. Staying true to McDonald's colors. Got red hair. Eating something that somewhat resembles a burger. I'm sure with variations, we could get some higher quality stuff. I would say that did a pretty good job. I'm going to re-roll this. Okay, now we're not getting any character at all. Maybe we got lucky with that first one. McDonald's related, but not what we're looking for. There we go. Now we've got another anime character eating a burger. Huge burger sitting up here. So let's give this a test now with the edit image button. Yes, we do actually have some in painting and I do believe we also have out painting. We can actually enhance and make this canvas larger so we can sort of out paint around this anime character. But let's let's say I'm not really liking the way this character looks. Can go ahead and just erase the entire character and see if we can't fully replace the character with a brand new one. Goodbye. Still want the burger in though, that's a decent looking burger. And now on the side here we can see our little saved edit and we will regenerate and hopefully it's going to do a little bit of in-painting for us. Somehow it's costing us an extra generation and it just filled it in with a ghost. Let's retry that. Okay, I see, so it's just not seeing anything here and just assuming that the anime character is in fact a ghost, so it's doing more of variations rather than in-painting. It's a little confusing. But you can actually do full drawings as well with this, which is interesting. I do want to give that a shot. We can paint images and then have it generate an anime character or a furry character or whatever based off of what we drew. So I think a lot of people are going to be taking their, you know, character drawings and enhancing them greatly. You know, let's say they're not, they like to make new characters that are anime styled, but they're not great at drawing, they can use this to completely enhance their drawings, which is a really cool concept. What's unfortunate is that we don't have any way to like fill this in easily, similar to Art Breeder, for example. So, you know, this lemon guy I'm drawing, I really got to fill him in all by scratch. Very interesting. Here, we'll just redraw the face after he's filled. This is going to be rough. I, I want the AI to really do some heavy lifting in this uh, use case scenario. This is not a very good image. So can the AI enhance this ugly lemon character and make it beautiful? Beautiful anime lemon character. Again, they, they charge you extra to be able to do this. And well, there you go. Made him a little bit better looking. He's still kind of ugly. Close enough. This next prompt's a little bit random. The biggest nerd in school is playing Minecraft. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting, you know, a classroom setting, someone playing Minecraft on a computer. No, we've got a, a full anime woman inside of Minecraft. It's like an, an Minecraft anime girl. I did not mean to fulfill some Minecraft anime fans' fantasies today, but it looks like I've done it with a schoolgirl in Minecraft. This is an unanticipated result. She's holding a Minecraft block. She's clearly in the Minecraft world. Although she is not very Minecraft-esque, which is important to point out. She does not look like she's from the Minecraft world. Horrifyingly ugly anime character. <laughs> oh my god. It'll, it'll give you the nightmares if you ask for it. I said horrifyingly ugly? Oh yeah. We'll give you ugly. In fact, we'll we'll give you nightmares too if you if you want those as well. Let's do let's do the same prompt but with the furry one. Oh my god, that is horrible. Wow, that is bad. That is actually terrifying. I horrifyingly ugly furry character. Yeah, no kidding. He's not just ugly. He's actually from my nightmares. That is terrifying. I don't like that. That that is like enabling something deep in my like the recesses of my mind like run. Run away now, go into hiding, build weaponry to, to battle your way to survival against that. That thing is, that is horrible. Not a fan of that, not a fan of that, but good generation, I suppose. I mean, yeah, horrifyingly ugly. That is, that is about correct. Jesus Christ. Anime character who is obese. And we're going to up the number of images to four now so we get some more variations. Yeah, that, I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, that's, 
obese anime characters. Anime character who is a frog. I mean, it's got some human form, so it's it's a little terrifying. We've got like weirdness over going on over here. I'm not sure what this is. Kind of a cool background, frog related creature. I like it. This one's interesting as well. I don't know why they're duplicating. These ones are very are kind of scary though, and it's weird how it's got like human anatomy built in and it's trying to be, you know, attractive in an anime way. It's it's a little off-putting, but interesting nonetheless. Anime character who is obsessed with Walter White. Okay, it's giving us some Walter White anime characters, but I'm not I'm not upset at these. These are pretty good. You know, this guy's, I mean, his head's a little misshapen, I suppose. He looks kind of like Jesus, but, you know, he's got the Walter stare. These ones as well. It looks just more like concepts for Walter White. Very interesting, though. I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This is definitely a very powerful AI, to say nonetheless. All right, we're going to do Walter White fursuit with the furry generation model. Okay, this is so funny. We've got this horrible Walter White half lynx creature in a suit. He's actually, it didn't really pick up on like fur suit, like that concept that just put the guy in a suit, uh, which is interesting, but he's definitely, you know, partially an animal except for this one. Very interesting stuff nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's definitely quality image generation. The anime one is definitely very impressive. It's very expensive though, and I don't like the pricing model. I don't like the fact that I have to purchase a subscription to be able to begin generating. There's no free trial, nothing like that. So yeah, I mean, you guys can tell me what you think about it in the comments below. It's definitely quality. Keep a lookout though, guys, because I did, you know, spend 10 bucks on purchasing all of these credits and I still got 800 something of them left. I'll probably burn through the rest of those on a live stream at some point in the future where you guys can suggest random prompts and I'll create them and we can look at them together and it will be quite fun. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Matt VidPro. Uh, be on the lookout for the channel for some future fun videos coming up. Check out the Discord with the link in the description. Check out that Matt VidPro challenge as well, the Lemon Challenge, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.